channel my name is Mel and yes this is part two of today's video because that did drag on a bit so I didn't realize it was gonna be that long but this video is gonna be short because this part of the video is gonna be what I do in the binge it's gonna be very deep and tr if it's triggering I suggest just turn it off and just watching Looney Tunes that's the first thing that came into my mind Bugs Bunny what's up dark Oh my god, I need to stop. Anyway, today's video is going to be about the cycle I go through when I'm going through a binge. So I'm just going to say it how it is. So the first step what I do is I like plan everything out. What I'm going to have on the binge, uh, what I need to do and just plan the route out really. So. I always binge at night time because that's when my parents are asleep and that is my time. I have control and that is the main thing in binging and bulimia, the control. It's not always about the food, it's about gaining back that control and feeling proud of yourself for a minute, for a minute. And then, so in the plan, I plan out, say, what I'm going to eat, so say, um, a couple of nights ago, I planned I was going to have a uh, mashed potato with gravy and I planned what I could put in that, if I could put in like some corn chicken or anything and I just thought about that so then the next step is going to prepare the meal so when I'm preparing the meal, the thoughts that go through my head is it's going to come out anyway, it's you have nothing better to do it's just like an addiction really and after preparing it I rush upstairs because I don't want anyone to hear me see me whatever come into my room I have either the TV on playing something or my laptop playing something I have to cut off every social media and make sure no one's talking to me so say if I was on FaceTime I couldn't do that I just so when I'm FaceTiming someone, it does really help as a, as a distraction because the past two nights, it has, when I've been on FaceTime to someone, it has really helped me. I haven't had a binge, so thank you to that person. Um, but when I am sitting there and when I'm actually eating it, I rush it so much. I actually just go, <laughs> even though people might think, oh, that sounds natural or this or that it's not it is not and i know that but because i've been doing it for such a long time it is such a hard cycle to break it's an addiction to me and i don't know i just when i'm sitting there physically i don't think in a moment what it's doing to my body how many calories is going into my body because people think eating disorders is all about weight calories this and that um, physical thing yes you are right at some point but it's not always about food it's not always about how you look it's just how the mind works and everything so after I've done that like had the binge I rush downstairs I chuck everything on the side go straight to the toilet and I purge and if you do not know what purging is that's when you make yourself sick and when I make myself sick I do I do feel guilty and that's when the guilt comes in because you just feel like if you don't get everything out well you know you're worthless you're and then that's when like suicidal thoughts can come into your head as well depressive thoughts and that's like it's like a thing going in your head if you don't do this it's gonna be like that if you don't do that it's gonna be like this and then after you feel like you've got everything out after purging you have to clean up you have to make sure there's no trace of what you've just done so that's when i clean the pots that's when i make sure the packet of uh whatever i've just had is in the bin and hidden so i when i'm doing that i just feel like I need to clean this up because I don't want my parents knowing what I'm doing. Even though they do know what I am doing, they do know what I'm doing. In my mind, I'm brainwashed to think, you have to clean. And 
if you leave any mark that is when they're gonna wake up in the morning and know that you have done this last night so yeah that's uh the cycle and then when i come back upstairs i just feel like what have i just done i just feel worthless and i just try and find a distraction from it and then that can happen either three times in a night and that is bad that is unhealthy the most i've had in a night i think is five times i'm not sure but that's when i get really depressed and i feel worthless so i have to punish myself and when i say punish myself that's my that is why I do it, it's an addiction, it's punishment, but it's also gaining that control as well because even if it's just the tiniest bit of control, it's it's still control and that can just go around in a cycle and I just, that was just the cycle of it and that was the night and then the next morning I feel sleepy and I just want to go back to bed and I just cut off everyone and I don't know and then that's when you revol revolve your life around bulimia like I believe that I have revolved my life around bulimia like I've just come back from Nicole's uh, last week and I've said to her every day I don't want to come back yet I don't want to come back yet because I want to binge that that's the reason i don't say that to her i just make up stupid excuses oh i'm doing this i'm doing that because i'm scared about losing that control at night time because when i'm at hers and with her little girl lily i feel like i can't do that which is good because it's a distraction and i am thankful for her for putting up with me for all these years but sometimes I just don't want to lose that control and that's why I make up excuses all the time. If I'm going to meet up with someone, sometimes I can just cut them off like that because I feel like I'm no good for them. And then that's why I want to do a video interviewing my best friend Nicole because I want to hear her view on it and I've never done that before. So hearing her side of it may help me because I am brainwashing myself into thinking everyone is better off without me. and. I'm just gonna be alone for the rest of my life but uh, I don't know it's just I just think doing these videos will not just help me but help more people around me have an understanding of what is going on inside of my mind because it's hard to keep on saying stuff like this to everyone new I meet or I have this I have that you have to be aware of this like some people don't even know I deal with it until they see my youtube videos because obviously i have done videos in, in the past about my uh, bulimia and seizures and everything and with the seizures it feels like everyone's scared to be around you and you're losing friends because of it so then that goes in. it's just like a cycle bulimia seizures depressive episodes anxiety boom 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 that that's just it that is just what is going on inside my mind and i can't stop it so yeah but anyway that was today's video it was just like a rant really wasn't it but i hopefully think tomorrow's video is going to be me interviewing either my dad or my best friend nicole because i want to hear their sides of the story and i want to hear their views and how they feel so yeah <laughs> anyways uh have a good Day and I hope you enjoy this weekly video thing that's going on Eating Sword Awareness Week 2020. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. No, look, 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 looky, looky. Oh, I like that one. Go. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake.